Page 20, Ding Dong Merrily on High. A quick disclaimer before I start this lesson. This is the first lesson of this morning that I'm recording, the first one for today. I'm not a morning person, so this ain't going to be no ding dong and no merrily going on here. We're just going to give a lesson. So here we go. Common time or 4-4 four, four time in the key of G major. One sharp, make sure you can do the scale. At least one octave up and down for G major. Let's take the hands one at a time. I have some fingering suggestions I'd like to make. Right hand, you're starting out here in this position. And that's okay. I ain't gonna stay here, but that's all right. One and two and. One and two and. Three and four and. One and two and three and. You gotta rest on three. And then. Second line is the same as the first. Let's go to the third line. Now you have a rest at the end of the second line that gives you one beat to move up here. Fourth finger, they tell you it's a new hand position as if you couldn't figure that out on your own. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And then squeeze together, whatever you want to do it. Third finger, one and two. Now fourth finger, and two, and just stay there. It's the same rhythm on each of these, it's just different fingering as we're going down. It's a sequence, here, 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 here. Isn't that lovely? Usually I like to keep the same fingering for each occurrence, each happening of that pattern. But in this case, the black key kind of gets in the way, so we adjust it. So we're starting on fourth finger. And you can use fourth finger on each one if you want. I mean, that works. You can do that if you would like. And typically, I would do that. However, I will follow the fingering in the book. I don't know why. I'm just doing it fingering in the book. Don't bother me. Let's go on. Fourth line on page 20. One and two. Third finger now. One and two. And that's it. Let's go top of page 21. It's the same as the page 22, but now we're adding a few notes. Getting more harmony. Oh, goody. One and two and three and four and one and two and rest and... to have three and five on that in the last measure of the first line here. I can't have here. I need a different fingering. Okay, I'll get one. This is the last two measures of the first line here. Use fifth finger for the second G. It's a repeated note. We can use different. Now I can do that. Three, five. Because I want to hold the G down as I play that. And connect this. So, and then fourth finger again if you want. Or you can do a five, it's there, and then a four. The repeated notes. The first two lines are identical, so finger them the same way. Third line, again, you have a rest at the end of the second line. You come up, one, two, and we have the sequence again. Play it the same way you did the first time. Finger it the same way, everything's the same way, and then at the bottom, the last couple of measures, it's the same as the first couple of lines on this page, so finger it the same way. Five. Here. Left hand, starting out with two, we're in this position. One and two and three, same rhythm. Two, three, four, reach up, rest, rest. Now for the second line, there's no rest or anything. You can lift up and move down if you want, but I think it's better if you if you don't lift up. Connect it. And use fourth finger and then two. They're repeated notes. We can do that. So, third line, no big deal, I hope. You just... 
using thumb on each one until you get to the F sharp. And then the okay. That's pretty much it for the left hand. Until you get to the bottom of page 21, we'll get that in a minute. Put the hands together. Here. One and two and One and two and rest and. Make sure you lift up the, oh, for the rest in the left hand there. It's kind of important. Let's go down to the third line. You're here. One. Now here, one, two, three, rest. So you're lifting up. Right there. When you play that, you lift up. Page 21, you keep going. Remember the left hand was four and then a two. To rest. Now you have half notes in the left hand. See, it's more harmony. We added more notes. We're getting fancier. Everybody, oh, goody. Second line is the same. Let's go down to the third line. You're here. That's that's what's written. I, I didn't do it. They did. It's just a one and two. I went a little fast. You'll have to take it slow and easy, and you may hesitate in spots. That's fine. But then go back and get rid of the hesitations. The beat needs to be a steady beat. doesn't have to be fast yet. It needs to be steady. As far as the articulation goes, just follow the phrasing in the right hand. The left hand, connect it all as best you can except for the rest. Just everything. So here... To rest. See, both hands are resting on beat three. And connect the right hand. And you can lift up if you both hands if you want, or you can leave the left hand down and connect it. So forth, that's fine. Put in the phrasing and all that, and then go back and add the dynamics. Well, actually, you ought to get to know the piece, and then you feel the dynamics. This is a really happy song. I'm not in a happy mood. It's the melody, which is the top note in the right hand. Keep the left hand in the background. Even when they're playing the same notes, keep it in the background. You want to hear that top note if you can. Do the best you can. If you can't bring out the top note, then play the right the hand. The whole right hand louder than the left. Then speed, well it says joyfully. Oh, well, forget that. It's 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 they give you a metronome mark. It's this is a rather happy piece. It's at the bottom of page 21. Again, it's because there's multiple verses. DC means go back to the beginning. They didn't give you an end of the piece symbol. I wish they would have. You can take a pencil and you make that second bar line at the bottom a thick one because it should be a thick because that's where the piece ends eventually. And the words are to the verse and the verse is there. It's labeled verse on page 20. The chorus doesn't start until after the third line. 
That's the chorus. You see the double bars? It's between sections, because the verse is one section, the chorus is another. Yeah, okay. Now, watch on the verses, because the way this is printed. You'll see you have verse 1 on page 20, the first two lines. Verse 2 is on page 21, the first two lines. You see, we're going back and forth. Usually it wouldn't print it that way, but okay. So when you're going to do verses 3 and 4, you're actually, in effect, only going to repeat this thing once. You're going to play it twice total, because that get, you do th verses 3 and 4 that way. I would like to play it with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. Not going to do any dynamics or any of that. Now we're only going to play it one time. So I'll give us four counts. So let's just go over it very slowly together. One and two and ready and go and one and two and three. One and two and three and four. and off. 